All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Semifinals, game number uno. We are going to be casting both semifinals for you guys. Lots of StarCraft ahead. And now the tournament should be running even faster than what it already is now that we're uh, basically only dealing with one set of games at a time. Not so. that this matters to you guys on YouTube. You're still going to get one game a week. <laughs> Not one game a week, jeez, no, one game a day. But people, the people talk about it like it's once a week. They're oh, like, okay. what? The frick? <laughs> well, unfortunately, in our last tournament, we had a couple of problems with OBS and the yeah, we lost, games. we we lost one or two. We lost two games, yeah. and one of them was in the finals, like the last game, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But it's it was just, game, it was game three. Oh, it was game three. Okay. Yeah, we had, yeah we we had the last game, but we were missing missing games. Well, three. we do apologize, guys, but it just so happens, and we play music in between games, so Twitch muted the VOD because we couldn't get it, so on and so forth. But everything seems to be working good. Now let's jump right into it. We've got a new build. Maxus Black says so far this tournament is going ten times, no, a hundred times better than the first one. A <laughs> hundred times zero is still zero. Oh fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck right off, dude. And We've no, had some good games. What I'm man. saying, what I'm saying is, last tournament, virtually anything could have happened this tournament. Yeah, but and I mean, it would have been an okay, improvement. Out of all the tournaments that we've had so far, well, this is smoothest. going. This is going smooth, and yeah. the games have been pretty good. Yeah, the games so have been far. very good. Yeah, uh, and I think this is going to be another one. I think that this Adam, I know yes. people are like Jeff, shut up and tell me the fucking build. This Adam could be the Lag TV Classic right here. This could be it. <laughs> no pressure. Starting up here in the top right position, we have Metal Swarm and Nitro. They're playing against each other, but they're on the same team. Dun, dun. They're on the same team. Dun. So you guys are probably going, well, what, what's the build, Jeff? What, what, you know, why you keep me on edge here? Here it is. This build is called Not So Friendly. Both players team. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that's it. Is that the one? That's it. Yep. Okay, never mind. Yep. Okay, well, I changed it a little bit by accident, but I'm going to read this. Not so friendly. Both players team up to kill an AI. Okay, never mind. I had this right. Mm -hmm. Both players team up to kill an AI. After and after, after and only after the AI dies, both players must continue game. Do not enter score screen. You will then fight each other to the death. Game ends when all your old teammate structures are destroyed. Build wisely. You will have each other's vision, and you'll be forced to attack click until the death. Okay? So you can't A move or anything. You have to physically attack click each unit and structure to death, because you will technically be on the same team. Okay, so right off the bat, there is already, like, right off the bat, Nitro, I believe, is red, right? Yes. Correct? Nitro is already doing things in the right way. He's already building his wall. Yep. Between the two bases. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, the same cannot be said for Metal Swarm, who is building normally like he would in just about any other game. So, as it stands, Nitro already with a little bit of the edge, although we won't see any attacking happening between these two until this poor three elite yep. gets wrecked. Uh, well, here's the thing. Both players know the build, right? So they both understand that, yes, there's an enemy AI that they both have to team up to kill, or yes. one of them has to kill. Yes. Um, but afterwards, they're immediately going to have to fight each other. So what, they both may not attack this AI, and this AI may just start expanding and getting bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where the AI might actually become a problem. Yes. And it'll be up to, the, to, to one of these guys to take the plunge to actually go and finish the AI, Maybe one of these guys will sit in base and wait for the AI to be killed and then immediately go ham on their opponent. Also, you have to attack click. So, how fast uh, will they be able to grab two different units? Like, are they going to hotkey, say, eight marines and eight marauders in a different hotkey and then attack move using two different hotkeys? Or are they going to take the whole army and just start eight clicking each unit individually? This is really going to be a tactical fight. Not only when the time comes to actually fight each other, but who's going to take care of this elite AI? Because this guy will actually become a problem down the road. One thing that I do know about Nitro is he isn't the highest level of, uh, of a player, but he's been taking every build that he's beginning, and he's been using it to his advantage and really thinking through each build before the game starts. He's got like a clear goal in mind, and he just goes for it, and, and, and he's been doing great uh, thus far. And also with Metal Swarm, we've seen him in the past. He's also done well, but he's also been 
kind of hesitant and made some mistakes uh, in the games that we that we saw previously. Uh, so we'll see who has the best strategic um, plan for this game from start to finish. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a of a of a of a mixture of you might be better off building a bunch of your uh, of your buildings outside of your base. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe expanding uh, maybe down here. Maybe expanding down further. There's also something to be said about the wall tactic that Nitro is going to be using here. Because ultimately, they're going to have to A-click their way through the whole thing. And the whole time that's happening, you're going to be able to A-click from behind your wall. Uh, but that's all right. of your buildings are going to be in basically one location. Mm -hmm. So you might, you're, you're going to have to really do well by that. Uh, and really, also, if the wall is there, you're, you're pretty much relegating yourself without using drops, which Terran can, of course, do. Uh, to being behind your own wall and so yeah it's going to be there's a lot of variables in this oh there's, by the way a lot of variables. by the way can i get some props right now for this build guys oh, that's solid can i get some motherfucking props right now i went try hard my my ego was was took some punches is this, on the last is, tournament is, is this a 100 percent maximus black build or is this a modification out of a youtube comment no, it, there's the majority of them were modifications. Okay. But nobody copy and pasted this. Okay. This, the, the attack move thing was just something that I okay. that I wanted to add. Um, you know, there's a, a, pretty much in every tournament that we've done. Of course, Light TV has somewhat say and 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 um, influence. Of course. But, you know, I'm I'm I'm. I think this is good. This is probably this is probably this is a fucking as, great build. As far as balance goes, this is the closest thing to balance that that we've had. Yeah so far so uh and lots of variability so this this yeah it's going to be very interesting to see but i think the most i think the most interesting part will be uh will they decide to go and attack together or will one just sit back and do dick all both and hope them, the other one both does. of them are sitting back right now nobody like, knows what they want to do yet yeah nitro kind of peaked out here like look at this army like this this zerg is starting to uh starting to build up some units here um another thing is somebody just posted in chat nukes yeah. That would be a very efficient way to, to get the job done. But yep. at the same time, Protoss here, Metal, will be able to see the ghost and yep. will be able to A-click it. So, but can a ghost fire from across this little gap here? Oh, you, you know they can. So, I can mean... Can they get to it in time? That's can, the they, can they get to it in time? I mean, it's going to be outside of stalker range, so it's going to have to be an air unit that's doing it, unless yeah. the stalkers blink across that gap. Yeah. Also possible. So, yeah, it's... The nukes, the nukes are definitely a good thing. It'll be whether or not uh, they can get to it in time. And and honestly, I don't know. I, everything, everything is a complete guess at this point because it will really depend. A lot of this game will hinge on how the AI is dealt with. Yep. Yeah. No, this. I'm just excited. Like we've done a lot of theory talking here. Finally, we're gonna get some action. Who is gonna take the heat? It looks like Zerg is going over to the Protoss side. Will Nitro just say, let him, let him go fight. Let him, let these guys duke it out here. I'm not going to help my partner. Screw that. And yes, he is. He's actually going to go in there and help. There goes the storm. Lots of immortals there. And this army is not going to last at all, especially 2v1. Rip. I would have loved to have seen Nitro just let the Zerg do as much damage as possible to his quote unquote partner. Mm. Uh, and then, you know, kind of pick up the, the pieces. So that was just basically the Zerg just went in there and just died. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was pretty much that was pretty much melted. Now uh, uh, Nitro is taking up the defensive post here. He's at the front of the ramp. He's got his siege tank. Yep. Uh, so he's he's doing the mo you know the most defending at the moment. While his partner has finally he's the first one to build outside of the base here, uh, going for that that yeah. third. Yeah, and uh, suicidal Zerg want to give a shout out to him. He he said uh, in, in the chat shift clicking. Shift attack clicking is pretty much a must. Oh, you have to. Otherwise, otherwise you're going to be slow as hell. Yeah. So, like, if you can shift click and actually click on each unit and maybe not miss here and miss there and miss there, if you can hit each unit by shift attack clicking, and you can even grab, you know, a stack of units, shift click a bunch, grab another stack, shift click a bunch, and then you'll be, you know, off to the races. Something tells me it's going to be a long game. Uh, I, it, the only way in which this is not long is... Uh, if they team up to go and finish off the, the AI. Yeah. Because I don't know if... I think it would be a very, a very dumb idea for either one of these gentlemen to uh, to try and wipe out the AI by themselves because it leaves them way too vulnerable. Exactly. It, but that, that, and that's the beautiful thing about this build is both guys don't want to don't wanna help. Both guys want to stay... Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The apocalypse just happened. 
Okay. The second coming of Christ has just occurred, and the AI has somehow killed both of these people. <laughs> is it a draw? Or is both... whoever dies first the loser? I think that it'd be so embarrassing that I'd give them both a loss. Okay. What? So if one got wiped out, let's just say one got wiped out. Yeah. Are they the loser, or does it become a draw even though the other one's alive? If the other one can survive and kill the AI, oh, then obviously that then guy, that wins. guy will win. But if they both die, yeah, I'm giving them both a loss. Okay. Straight up. All right. They're both gonna be like, okay. like one loss each. In this, right. in this best of three. So whoever wins next game would just straight up win the tournament. Or okay. not the tournament, but, but the, the series. The series, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. that would just be embarrassing as all fuck. That would be crazy embarrassing. One AI killing two guys while they're sitting back macroing all the shit. I, I, dude, this would be like the most viral video on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Nice storms there from the high ground. Uh, wow, that is a scary That's army. That's a scary army. That is a very scary army. It's not so scary if it's just straight marines. Aside from the storms, I suppose, but I mean, Marines, Marines, are, those mor uh, those immortals aren't going to mean a hell of a lot if you, just, if you just... You know what Nitro needs to do right now? He needs to stop thinking AI, and he needs to start thinking Metal Slug, or Metal Swarm. Metal Swarm, yeah. Uh, just because look at the comp. That, that unit composition, it, is, he's building to beat this, and that's yeah. what you have to do, Yeah. right? Um, th this isn't just not going to fly. Way too many Marauders in that mix. He needs to either get, like, ten nukes and just scatter this shit and use them to like hold off units i don't know how how he's if i'm terran terran is home to one of the most op units in the game that's battle cruisers yep i would sit back build. and just build, build nothing but battle cruisers. build the battle cruisers mass army battle cruisers and then a move because your your or opponent is, your opponent is almost forced to try and uh -oh. save you if they come in well so. here's here's the here's the good thing here about metal swarm he knows that his army just fucking wrecks Nitros right now. So if he goes down and kills this AI, he, I still think he might be able to win the game, even when he has to fight Nitro, even though Nitro really isn't in uh, in the fight. Well, no, now they're both going down. I'm not seeing any talking there. They're not no. working as a team. They're no, they're, they, 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 they're, they are working as a team, but only just through what they're watching. Yeah, they're not, they're not no, talking to no each other. No. There we go. Okay, so... Ooh, huge fungal at the Zerg, focusing down on Nitro's units with massive fungals. Meanwhile, Metal Swarm's units taking virtually no damage at all, and Nitro knows that this fight is over, and he is beelining it back to base. He needs to get ready for the inevitable attack, and here comes some orphans at the base for Metal Swarm, and look at this, sitting up shop here with some siege tanks, Got a couple of Thors. He's got the Marine uh, Medivac Marauder Ball and some Ghosts in the fray. He needs to just hold, wait, and just get ready for the fight. This is his chance to to overcome this base while all these units are down here fighting. This this AI is dead. The real fight's about to start. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm still I'm still I'm still about 99% sure. All right, now we gotta re return to game. Which and here we go. Oh, I God. told- I, They're already going for it. They're fighting! They're already they going the for moves. it! But the storms! Did he get off any storms? No, this is a shit show! <laughs> this is a fucking shit show! This aim moving at a time, the siege tanks doing splash damage! He kept his whole army up there! He's- Oh, he's focused on those high temps! No storm gets up! Look at the attack! The Protoss is getting completely <laughs> fucking wrecked! The ship clicks are everywhere! Oh my god! The Protoss just got ripped all oh the pieces! My, oh, what the storms, dude! The storms! Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh shit! Where's his ghost? You need an EMP! He's got a ghost in right there! You fool! No! His ghost is sitting! One EMP, dude, would have wrecked! Would have fucking oh my them. god, no EMPs to go down! Oh, one EMP, that's all it took! It's still close, dude! It's still all over the place! He's building down Where's here! Where's the fuck? Oh my no, god! No, no, all the other units have come up, like the oh. Protoss ball from below! Holy shit! Fucking hell! I can't believe he didn't EMP! His whole, because he was like, uh, attack clicking He's each attack unit. Clicking. His whole ball was just sitting there. Oh, One yeah. EMP just would have wrecked all everything. those high tents. All shields, everything would have been down. And it was actually looking really good for Nitro there for quite some time. And it just, 
he just panicked and started running in the storm. Oh my for god. Him. And he, I don't know if he didn't notice that his ghost was still alive or he didn't have one hotkeyed, but he really screwed the pooch there. Yes, Protoss has Storm, but you gotta remember Terran has that EMP and just one EMP there would have just wrecked his army. A oh, the, huge mistake. The, the EMP would have been more than enough to have is even his holding? injured units. Uh, yes! Why is he why is he A moving on this? He's command going center? he's going for all the command centers and all the structures, and so in the in the meanwhile, all these SCVs have been I was trying to get Slowly in, but you were here. But you were going Sorry, on such man. a tirade. I'm just I'm just I'm hyped. That this is, the SCVs have been sticking to the back <laughs> asshole of every one of these stalkers this whole time, and now he actually has some Marines and Marauders back on the field oh that can do some God. actual damage, oh and so my God. He, he's probably still gonna lose, but he's been holding this whole freaking time, and he's still holding. He's still holding, bro. Look at these S these SCVs are actually but there's no support. there's no income there's no there's, it's dick all yeah let's see here he's 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 got nothing he's got three marauders two marines of production that's just a whole lot that's rip he so still he, has he all was, these units and medevacs all down here yeah but he's he's just not even been paying attention to what he's been doing just wrecked wow these marines are still doing damage look oh a free immortal goes down because he's not a clicking quick enough and look yeah, at that. Finally. This is, this is a this is no, this is oh my game God. over. Oh wow. Ladies and gentlemen. I love L O V E this build. This is so much fun to watch and cast. And Nitro leaves the game. GG. That is all she wrote. Wow. Wow. What a game. And you could just you could feel the tension. When, when well, the AI as soon was going as the AI down, left. Nitro was Nitro already beelined it back home. Nitro was already halfway home when that AI left the game. Holy shit! He and, beelined it. And honestly, I think Nitro would have lost even faster if the if if for however it could possibly happen if Metal Swarm had his attacking units from the AI base oh. back home. Yeah. Because he had a huge That was a nice amount. army, yeah. That was a scary army. Oh and so God. that would have been even faster, but I mean, one shit. One EMP, dude. If one that EMP, one EMP went off... Because the ghost was there, everything was in one ball, one EMP goes off, and even though Nitro had a lot of very injured units, it's Terran. It's Terran. They stim even when they have like three health. you medevacs healing them. And you just flatten all the Protoss army. Wow. That was intense, dude. That was in fucking tense. Great game brought to you by LootCrate.com. Go and pick up a subscription. S Summon is this month. If you guys want to check out all the previous months and see what you get, uh, you can go and use the link underneath the video uh, and underneath the stream if you're watching this live. Don't forget to use the promo code BOSE, 10% off. It helps keep the tournaments going, and you guys get some serious, awesome swag out of it. Uh, and of course, we want to give a shout out to uh, G2A.com. Go get games at ridiculously low prices, 3% off by using the promo code BOSS. We sold 1,700 games last month. Let's get to 1,800 this month, guys. And uh, check out their weekly sales. Every single week, they have just insane sales. So just go check them out. And Yord Wood Watches. Like I said, I said I was going to get the watch for next game. I totally forgot. So I will have that for the next game. It's happening. It, it will happen. Uh, so I can show you guys on webcam what these things look like. If you want to see what they look like, link is underneath. You can also enter for a $150 uh, Yord Wood Watch uh, gift card. And um, it's free to enter. So just go ahead and do that. When you click on the link, it'll ask for your first name. You can either put your first name or you can do your YouTube or Twitch username. It doesn't really matter. Um... If you don't want to put your, your real first name, that's totally fine. You can just put a uh, username or your alias. As long as your email's there so they can contact you when you win. I actually have the name of the winner from the last YouTube giveaway. Um, I will have that for you guys on the next game as well because I just want to let you guys know. Just to tell you guys that you know people are actually winning stuff. Um, so I'll, I'll announce that on the next game. But anyway, shout out to the sponsors. I know we didn't give too many plugs during the game. I guess probably after the game is the best time to do these anyway. Uh, more in depth. So thank you for your time, and uh, shout outs to our sponsors, and we'll see you guys. Game number two of the semifinals. We're casting both semis, guys. Both of them are going down. This tournament so far, I'm not jinxing it. I'm just I'm Don't letting it Don't fuck be. it up. I'm letting it be. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go.